Empire of Dirt is about the reconstructed landscape. It looks at the relationship between the ecology of the soil and the ecology of the architecture and its infrastructure as a living system. The project draws out these layers of perception that are embedded in the site to make what's already present more visible and works at connecting these material structures back to the landscape. The project responds directly to the site, looking at the soil that's been laying dormant underneath the concrete for years. I think to understand that these soils are the most diverse environment in the world. There are more uh, microbes in just one cubic metre of soil than there are people on the planet. That's an ecosystem that continually evolves and it's been evolving for millions of years and it's evolving faster now because of the contaminants. We're getting things that have never been there before because they're man-made. And so these organisms are continually adapting. Looking at the architectural fabric of the soil led to the large termite structures of the Northern Territory. The project relocates these living structures to colonise Melbourne CBD in the south. This relocation reflects the patterns of migration that's been following the shifts of temperature. The artworks are a composite. They're installed, reconfigured back into the site, draw out ways we experience time and matter. This is trying to really reconnect people to the land, to the soil. I think we've become disconnected. Through an artist's work, we get a clearer insight into what's, what's happening. And the importance of that is that we are then able to offer a better insight into what's happened to, to the public.